Hi, I'm Alex Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces. Today, we're going to talk about the Swatch System 51. Now, this is an irony, but uh, in Swatch, irony is a pun which uh, means, you know, metal, iron, haha, and then irony, the irony of a plastic watch company making watches in metal. But there's a specific reason I got the metal version of this watch, which I will explain a little bit later. Let's first uh, look at the watch. It's a very nice um, watch. It's very clean design. Of course, Swatch, you can get it with all kinds of uh, designs. I specifically chose a cleaner design. It's got uh, date function. It's uh, got center seconds. And um, it's actually a, quite a nice piece. Let's wind it up a little bit and see if we can get it going. And there it goes. As you see by the uh, movement, it is a, a, me a mechanical watch. Uh, and that's one of the aspects of the uh, Swatch System 51 that's quite interesting about it is uh, the mechanical aspect. Now, um, the bracelet's not a very, uh, not a bad quality bracelet. It's the same type of metal as the case. Uh, some kind of a, yeah, uh, not steel, but uh, not cheesy metal either. Some alloy of some type. It's got a, a very nice retention. The... Uh, Buckle is stamped. I've already taken the pin out of the micro adjustment so I could open up the uh, watch for you. And uh, there's the movement. Okay, so now if you take a look, you can see the uh, spring, right? This, there's the spring there. You could see the uh, Auto winding, the outer ring moves. And uh, as I say, it's an open barrel, so you can see the spring. Automatic winding. And there's the balance wheel. It's running at 6 or 8 hertz. I could probably uh, look that up. I'll put it in the uh, comments below. But uh, the amazing thing about this watch is that it's a mechanical, automatic, date function watch that has two horologically significant achievements. One is that it has only 51 moving parts and only has one screw holding it all together. All the other parts are ultrasonically welded or glued. The only screw is the one holding the counterweight to wind the automatic mechanism. Everything else is just uh, one continuous piece of um, interconnected uh, machine assembled horology. That's the second aspect of this, is that this watch was manufactured without the touch of a human hand. Even the uh, adjustment of the balance wheel was done by machine. No assembly, no hand assembly, no hand adjustment. This watch came off the assembly line, a finished product. Now, uh, the plastic versions are actually hermetically sealed. They're not even designed to be opened. Like uh, the old Timexes, when they broke, you threw them away. Uh, which is one of the reasons why old Timexes aren't collected. They weren't actually manufactured for maintenance or uh, keeping. They were made to be just rugged watches that you tossed when they uh, stopped working. And in the case of the Swatch, the plastic ones are not serviceable. The uh, metal ones, because of the uh, construction of multiple materials, they couldn't really bond metal to plastic. Uh, these can be disassembled. Uh, theoretically to service them. So I figured I'd get the irony just in case I actually did ever, ever, ever want to service this, then at least I have the option to give it a shot. But overall, it's a, you know, the Swatch System 51 represents a tremendous advance in horology, not so much to replace watchmakers, but to extend the um, ability to have a decent mechanical piece at a reasonable price point to the average person. So um, Patek Philippe has, no, has nothing to worry about. Uh, although since Swatch is, of course, by definition, Swatch Group, uh, I could see some of this technology trickling out 
to uh, Mito and uh, Omega and uh, some Hamilton and some of the other uh, companies, Longines, within the Swatch group and see more machine assembled, um, which would dovetail quite nicely with the migration towards uh, silicon mechanical components like um, balance springs, hair springs, and such. So that's the uh, Swatch System 51. Well, let's, what, let's do a quick measurement check just to, I mean, take a look at the uh, dimensions. We've got, uh, it's a 42 millimeter case. It's about uh, 13 thick. Well, the lug width, it's a swatch, so the lug width doesn't matter. You can only put their bands on it. But like I said, overall, it's a beautiful piece. Looks good on the wrist. But then again, it's a swatch. So if you don't like this design, there are like literally a gazillion other designs you can choose from. Colorful, more colorful than this, plainer than this, and uh, everything in between. So um, as I was saying, thank you for taking the time to be with me. This is Alex Palt for Talking Time Pieces. Have a great day.